Tom. Hello everybody, Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last episode, we got our, uh, well, we got our uh, mission of trying to take the bridge uh, that borders the Alliance and the Empire so that we could take the capital city. In this episode, we're going to be starting off by Professor. having some support conversations. Hanuman would like to speak with you. Is now a good time? Yes. Which means that there are some elements of your power that cannot be explained by current theory. Although this may lead to a discovery that alters the very fabric of Crest research. Oh, pardon me, Professor. I became lost in thought, and I do tend to ramble. I suggest we call it a day. Do you concur? I'm fine to keep talking. Totally fine. No, no, you mustn't push yourself too hard. When you are not in battle, you are so often here with me. I get so energized speaking with you. Well, I must remember to pull my head out of the clouds. That said, perhaps we should discuss things unrelated to crests from time to time. Some sort of silly, light-hearted topic might be nice, eh? Do you have one in mind? Why, yes, your crest. I'm not especially skilled at small talk. Alas, let me see. Perhaps we should discuss... Hmm... I know! Food! Not my strong suit, the culinary arts, but I do enjoy a good meal. Which kind of food do you prefer, Professor? Sweet or spicy? Give me that spice life any day! Spicy? Quite the opposite of me. Yet, you're an exception in lots of ways, so it's not altogether surprising. An old colleague of mine theorized that those who bear crests favor sweet flavors over spicy. She suggested that the crest exerts some manner of influence over... Oh, there I go again. How embarrassing. We were supposed to be avoiding talk of crests, weren't we? Terrible habit of mine, finding a way to turn any conversation towards crests. I really should find a way to stop that. We can talk more about crests. That is kind of you, Professor. But it's all right. If you were to lose your patience with me, it could have an incalculable impact on my research. That sort of thing has happened in the past, you know. Back when I was still in the Empire. At first, any lady I was spending time with would titter and say she didn't mind if I talked about crests. But at some point, she would always become fed up and stop listening to what I had to say. In the end, invariably, while I was particularly focused on my research, she would write to say we were done. You may be a man, but I still don't wish for you to grow tired of my company. A rank with Hanneman. All right, next up we got a little, a little bit of talkies to do over here. But who would be in the in the garden near the amiibo gazebo? Shamir, of course. It's been ten years. Can I move on yet? Ugh, never mind. I know what you'd say. Were you talking to someone? In a sense, someone who's long since passed. Another mercenary I fought alongside. They were killed ten years ago when Dagda was in conflict with the Empire. It's all I can focus on lately. Who do you think that is? Or why do you think that is? To be honest, I blame you. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it's not your fault. You just remind me of him. You give off a similar air. It's uncanny. You even have the same inflection, which makes no sense because we only ever spoke Dagden. I don't know what it is, but you feel the same to me. I guess you just remind me of the past. I'm sorry. Please, it's not your fault. It's my fault for getting caught up in memories. Still, you always remember your first love, right? That's enough of that. There are more relevant topics to discuss. 
What will you do after the war? Good question. The world is completely open to me. Your next move seems apparent. But who knows where I'll end up. Though I may have done enough traveling for one lifetime, I like the idea of having a permanent home. And after all my time here, I've grown quite fond of Fodlan. Hmm. There was something very interesting about that particular support conversation. They started off by saying that, uh, using the pronoun they, and then became, you remind me a lot of him. That portion of the conversation where they use they doesn't change between the male and female avatar. Professor. And Sedith would like to speak with us. May I discuss something with you? I promised to help you find the truth of who you are, but I'm afraid it's not that simple. There are some details I have kept concealed. What details? Five years ago, before she vanished, I asked Rhea some pointed questions. I learned that she knows everything about you. No, that is understating it. Rhea is responsible for your existence. What do you mean? I could explain to you here and now what fragments of knowledge I was able to pry from Rhea. I fear, however, that a partial understanding might do you more harm than good. Once we save Rhea, you will know the whole of it. For now, that is all I can tell you. If you are still uncertain about your feelings, then permit me to add one more thing. You, Rhea, and I, we are like family. Because of those deep ties, you can be certain that I will never abandon or betray you. On the contrary, I greatly wish to see what your future holds. I am, and will always be, your ally. Even family members can turn on each other. You are not wrong. History is full of examples. I don't believe that will be the case here, but I suppose all I can do is ask for your trust. The truth is, you have become indispensable to me. And that is true quite independently of whether I see eye to eye with Rhea, or even whether we are friends. After this war is over, where I go and what I do will depend wholly on you. What do you mean? I am still trying to figure that out myself. Perhaps it is just that I find you so fascinating that I cannot bring myself to leave your side. I dislike a one-sided conversation, but in this case I am afraid I had no choice. Our future is yours to determine. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you for that insight, St. Keel. Before we end off here, I actually want to go over to the cathedral. I also neglected to talk to Dorothea or Cyril. Dorothea was on the second floor uh, in like sort of like the area opposite the library. And Cyril is standing in La Lady Rhea's bedroom. I guess it's my bedroom now, but I always, but I still start off in the same place every time. I want to check this to see if I had enough for any of the upgrades, which I do not. See you again soon. All right. Well, that answers that. Let's go ahead and uh, end uh, end this off. Let's go ahead and instruct our students, as always. As per the usual, we shall instruct them. Damn it! Our allies, not our students. Oh, here is an interesting little... Well, let's go ahead and start teaching uh, Lawrence how to do some more in faith. What? Get a perfect! Damn it, you pride yourself on so much and you do so little for... Where's the fur? Uh, how about we alternate between bows and axes? Yep. <laughs> nice. Whoops. I learned a that was And he got a perfect on that one. Nice. Ooh. A plus punches! I think I'm starting to get it. Skill level up. It is now A plus. Brawling prowess level I'm five. Good about this. What does S rank hold for you? Ooh, I'm so curious. Uh let's get a little bit of authority on you. So you could equip higher level uh, 
Ooh, I'm battle really... desperation. Nice. And I'll put the throw the rest into swords. I... Lies, Cynthia. Let's keep going on improving your white mat or your faith, I should say. I'm just going down the list here because next week I'm probably gonna end up teaching the same students again. Maybe not the same students, but a variety, a variety nonetheless. Uh, Marianne, I'm actually going to increase in swords. There we go, got a level D in that. Great Wrath Strike. To apply this knowledge. Which she's probably never going to use, but I want to improve her swords because of her, the relic that she has. Finally, I think, let's see, is anybody close to leveling up in anything? I haven't really trained Bernadette that much. I'm gonna give a little bit to... Uh, I'm gonna give two to this, or three to this. She got three perfects in a row, good lord. And then it all went downhill from there. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. Group tasks. Uh, so I got Skywatch. I think I'll switch over to Stable Duty. Just to get, let's get Marianne and Hilda some of uh, some of that good, good grace, golly goshness here. Uh, Marianne, I'm going to switch you to. You're gonna, you're gonna be a paladin, swords and faith, and begin training. I gotta ask you something. I had to leave my grandpa in charge of taking care of, care of my little sis while I'm away. I was thinking I should send him something nice to say thanks. Any suggestions? A shiny necklace, a sturdy walking stick, a tough looking hat. Uh, a sturdy walking stick. That could work. I didn't give him the answer I think he wanted. Professor? She wants to switch to full faith to focus as a priest or a bishop. I'm gonna say no because you're better suited as a dancer. Uh, it's- Oh, Kenya, that's birthday! I got a gift from Claude. A letter from Claude. I wonder if I could read that. Yeah, another birthday. Ignatz's birthday. Let's host a tea party for him. Here, have some of this almond blend. Professor, I'm here. I wanted to take you up on your invitation. Offer you some tea. Thanks. What a lovely fragrance. Let's talk. All right. Past labs, mighty weapons, a word of advice. I get it. He likes the he, he likes the advice, I can tell. Right. School uniforms, likable likable allies, uh successful plots. Hmm, I don't know what he would enjoy out of this. Likable allies. All right. Nice! Can I get a perfect with him? Uh yes. Church of the market, perfect recipes, a strong battalion. Perfect recipes. Damn! Sure? Mayhaps children at the market. Nice tea time. Thank you for the delicious tea. I'd be happy to join you again whenever you like. <sighs> well, charm improved, that much is certain. There's a certain charm about it. I'm glad I get to of course thank you. And go over this, let's see how they're riding. Their riding improved, we get some smithing stones, some money. All well and good. Let's put it to the test. Movement plus one for Leone. Hopefully this proves useful. Battalion desperation for Sedif. Uh -huh. Faithful five. I wonder if anybody's close. Catherine's like almost halfway to S rank, but I haven't been training her at all. What about, I feel like Lysithia would probably be the best, no, well, still behind. I really want to get somebody to S rank and see what that grants them. Can I work with S rank stuff? All right, I think it's that moment we've all been waiting for. That's right, more support conversations. No, 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 no. We have a battle to do. And not just any battle, Eternal Guardian. Five years after Ray's disappearance, a letter that she wrote prior to that battle has surfaced. The mysterious message raises more questions than it answers. Units, Lady Rhea herself. Eternal Guardian, Verdant Wind, Chapter 16, The Rose-Colored River. Here you are, Teach. Take a look at this. 
I found it in Rhea's room. It's addressed to you. Did you look through her room on your own? Well, I know it's not necessarily fair to Rhea, but there's no way I wasn't going to take a look. I thought I might find some valuable information. Or even some treasures that could be useful for the coming war. In the end, all I found was that letter. I obviously couldn't read it before you did. Go ahead, I'm sick with curiosity. I'm going to read it in my quarters away from you. Dear child, I have little time and so I will keep this brief. I asked you to take care of things should something happen, but I wish to make myself useful as well. I left a treasure at the holy tomb. Please take it. However, note that I set a bit of a trap to prevent thieves from stealing it. Please take ample precautions so that you are not harmed when you retrieve it. May Sothis protect you, Rhea. Her handwriting is messy. She must have written it right before that battle five years ago. That treasure, if it belongs to Rhea, there is no doubt that it has great value. It would be bad if some thief managed to sneak off with it. Let's go and get it, Teach. Let's go. Great. But there's a trap there that might injure us? Huh. Just to be safe, there's a friend I'd like to invite as well. After all, who knows what lies ahead. Huh. Someone you want to invite along, huh? There's some phantom soldier. Oh my god! We've never seen an enemy like this before. A golem using a lance of light plus. Several golems, in fact. This is gonna be an uphill battle. Phantom general. Spirit dust. Barrier, vital defense, anti-magic armor. Well, that's gonna be an issue. Critical hits impossible against the unit, nullifies magic attacks. Swordbreaker and Lance Fair. Oh boy. There are three bosses, it looks like. A, uh, two paladins and a dark bishop. Interesting. I'm using Excalibur. Oh man. This will be quite the uphill battle. And I'm still curious as to who this friend of Claude's is. Let me get an overview of the battle to make sure I'm seeing everything. Yep, I am. And what's this in the center? A fortress knight. Phantom general. Interesting. Very interesting. This is going to be one hell of a battle, I can tell you that much. There's still crest stones in these areas. I wonder if anybody's going to be coming down here to steal them this time. Anyway, let's go ahead and organize our troops. All right, this is what our troops are looking like for this upcoming battle. Most of it is, uh, well, more or less the same. All I really did was go into the uh, the shop and uh, and fix everybody's stuff up. I, uh, I equipped some adjutants as well. I gave, uh, let's see, Sedith is a, an adjutant to Flane. Uh, I forgot who else I have in, in my party. Alois is an adjutant to Can You Not? And Cyril is an adjutant to Lysithia. Mostly, mostly trying to get, uh, support, support cover, uh, yeah, supports up. I wanted to look at something very interesting, though. If I, I scroll over all these, uh, all these units, you may not notice anything, like, at all. You notice that I skipped Lysithia, though. If I scroll over her, there's a green square over, uh, over Can You Not. I'm really curious as to what that is. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this battle started. Defeat all enemy commanders. Can you our club fall in battle? We lose. There's something there. Are those the devices that Rhea warned us about? Those are the phantoms. And some of them are giving orders. Let's target those first. My strategy for this, uh, apparently I'm getting a buff from something. My strategy for this is to split into two groups and go around the outside Pins, uh, maybe grab this guy, uh, along the way, but pincer, uh, these three up top, and then go down and finish this guy off. That's the current plan. We'll see how well that holds together in, in the face of adversity. I do this for all of us. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie! 
Bernie, 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 that's a name you should know. Bernie, 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 she's got a bow. And given how this game usually goes, we're probably gonna have some uh, unintended consequences for this battle in a bit here. Shall we? Let's go ahead and get Hilda come up to the front here. We'll use an iron axe to shave a little bit off of this guy. Can't afford to slack off. Not now, anyway. It was the least I could do. Damn, her magic went up too. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna move Hilda up here to wait. Let me get this on. I'm I'll gonna move uh Marianne over here. Ooh, nice. to heal up our resident Hilda. The horses are intersecting. Shall we? The horses are intersecting. Uh, fire won't be enough to take him down, but Sagitte will. I really should work a little bit better at your lances. Banshee, Too huh? Too close for my liking. You're, you're a little bit higher level than I More want fighting. you to be. Let's go ahead and start from over here and use the Leaven Sword Plus. Oh, that's not gonna be enough. Thorn w and Thorn does the same damage based on her... Yeah! Now that I think about it, the... Thoron and the Leaven Sword are basically one and the same. Leave it to me. Bring you up here. Well, here's the thing. I don't want to kill him just Onward. yet. Steady now. I'm not going to have much of a choice, though, it seems. Combat Arts, Curve Shot. Let's, uh... Go with this and see how that happens. See how that works. You get him from there. Oh, he's using Thoron as well. I gave I gave him the blessed bow, but I guess it doesn't really work in this situation. I might I might switch uh, what weapons he has with the professor. Please don't crit. Thank goodness. Saw that. Saw that. You saw that, and it was sought after. Uh, Dorothea. Go ahead and use the Leaven Sword to finish him off. Dorothea. Only thorns left on this rose. Well, damn, no petals, I guess. That's just the way it goes, I suppose. Items. We'll keep the silver axe on you because that's better for receiving an attack. Thank Rally strength on Ignatz here. In terms of dividing the rest of the troops, Flane and My Leone orange. should go this way. Of course, Flane can't go that far, so that's gonna make things interesting. Have to ready. Let's move Cloud. Move Claude over here. When he's got, he's already got the, he's already got what I wanted him to have equipped. What's my Professor strategy? can come over here, and Lysithia Let's can come over here. Quick. Assist. Oh, I can warp. Okay, that would explain what the green square meant. And I could choose where I warp him to. Interesting. I won't do that. Though. Oh man, the. Are the oh the golems appear to be just on a patrol. Ow! How dare! Oh, he's not dead. So close. Giant monsters. It would be best to take care of whoever's controlling them straight away. I want to take him head on. Good experience. Good marbling right there. Uh, who could use the experience for taking down this guy? Flane. Definitely flame. Ooh, can I kill with a sword? Not with that sword. Ha <laughs> ha! You don't have vantage, right? Stab with spear! Gave you a reason to use a spear. Nice. We got 
Two big boys coming out here, each with a crit of 21. Oof. I guess Le Leone can take the front lines on them. Oh, snap! I didn't see him coming! And there's no stairs here either. Combat art. Curved shot. Wow, that could reach from all the way over here, huh? What is her range with a bow as a bow knight? Hold on, items, steel bow, two to four. Good lord, is that just how the, is that just the, the bow knight's way? Got a rusted bow. You don't want to use that. It is, oh, he can still, 31 damage! My orders? Oh, let's, let's, let's try to stay away from that. All right, this maybe it would be a good idea. More fighting. A fairly, a decent idea, uh, says I. Oh, oh, I didn't equip that new dance ability she got on her. Leave it to me. Steady now. Ignots. Oh yeah, the golem could still see him from there, so I should probably not do that. Over on this side, however. Uh, neither of the golems moved, or that the right side golem didn't move down this way, so I'm a little bit better off for doing this. Hit him with a short axe if I wanted to, but Hilda's a little bit high level. A rusted bow, which she can't really use. I just noticed I put all my high level units on this side. I do oh. this for all of us. Bernie, you're getting some experience here. Throw him a bow. Bow, 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 bow. Let's make this quick. Throw him a bone. I can only warp. What's my strategy? What's my strategy? I'll do my best. Good question. I don't know. At the ready. Uh, and I'll wait. All right. Let's see how this goes. Cause those guys hit hard. Ooh. <gasps> Eight damage. That was actually a lot less than I thought it was gonna be. Nice try. Nice try. Level up, Leone. I'll keep pushing myself. She really didn't need to level up, though. Out of everybody, Flane could use it the most, but I'm also gonna try and keep it spread out for everybody. I really did a bad job at, at uh, balancing who's going where. Uh, Lawrence. Anybody further up here? Mages, yeah. Probably a good idea to take all everybody out here, so that way I can focus on the uh, focus on the golems later. So much can happen here. Uh, the killer bow would not take him out, surprisingly. Would a, let's dismount, and would a blast of magic do it? I guess it would. An offensive sight. I'll tolerate no obstacle. Nice. Good job, Lawrence. My skills are rising to my status. Indeed they Amazing. are. What did he say? Rusted axe. Can I? Probably could. Assist. Uh, wait for now. Move her up here and, uh, dance. Thank you. The goal here is to, wait, what? Something, oh, it's you! See, I thought, oh, <laughs> I was, Excuse me, sorely mistaken as to whom the identity of this person coming towards me was going to be. Go ahead and wait there. Actually, it's, it's a bow knight, isn't it? Is it a bow knight? Yeah, wow. You're gonna have your work cut up for you there. All right, bring you up here and wait. Bring you up here and wait because no one would dare come after you. And Flane, I'm sure I could 
Nobody? This... I guess Lawrence needs healing. I just want to try and Shit. get as much uh, level 4 as possible, you know? You dig? A Scythia... Bernie! Oh, a little Bernie told me. You are gonna take it. Take these arrows. Take them. Still here. And then Bernie would level up as a sniper. Only the strong survive. Uh, we have another horse. Yes, but oh wow, another another bow knight. I I would presume. Getting two here from the mage. Even there, wow. This, wait, what? Bolting? Three to 10? Man, hopefully I can get that at some point. Highest tier lightning magic. What do I have that knows lightning magic? You've got fire. Dorothea! Let's get that black magic up. I don't think she learns it though. This isn't good. Whoever I put there needs to have a, a decent uh You can go here. Wait. You might be the best bet for actually going after them. And I'm going to use you to lure them. Hey, you can use them here. Go for it. I know I'm I'm kind of stepping on I'm stepping on uh, on 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 Marianne's toes here, but you know it kind of has to work out that way. All right, how are they gonna fare against this? 19 damage. Okay. No. All right. Damn it! I didn't want her to get the experience from that. Predictable. Oh, I just realized I'm in the crossroads between two of those things. Huh. 26 damage on her, dang. Or I to even gambit. Actually, it wouldn't make much of a difference. He doesn't go far enough. Who's he targeting next turn? That figures. Do I have... No. What is her... Man, I really want to get her authority up. This is looking grim. I wonder if I can change his target to me. Now's our chance. I can always, uh... I can always reverse time, but... Yep, I've attracted the golem's attention. Good. 18 damage. That's... Oh my god! He's taking a lot of damage already. Is he changing targets? No. Nope. Ah, oh, what well, would be nice. Does Bernadetta have any... She does have a gambit. I should have thought this through a little bit better. Attack with the short axe, that's not really gonna help anybody though. I need, what, priority number one is to get rid of that bolting. I think gambits are what's gonna be, uh, that gives, oh boy. This is gonna be nuts. First and foremost. All right, let me see what else is up there. Oh, Jesus. This guy's just gonna be running, isn't he? How far can I move? While still keeping the target on her. Because a good strategy here might be to move far away, lure that guy closer, so that way I can run up and hit him. Wait. I'm not in range of that guy, am I? Oh my god, I am! 
He's gonna need healing. Uh, can he attack back? No. Sorry, but I must. This is, uh, oh, this, is, this next bit's gonna be rough here. Still going for Hilda. Down here, assist, physic. Welcome the professor back to full, and I think that should keep him alive. 18 and 18. Can anybody else hit him from there? No. Uh-oh. I'd be rewinding time if that if that were the case. I suppose oh, if I gambit, then it's gonna turn its attention toward Bernadetta, and I don't want that. I don't think anything's gonna go after her. Bernadette, get some experience, that's good. Get you over here. What does he get after the first death? Swordbreaker. That's, I'll, I'll wait on attacking then. All right, in terms of this way, we don't have to worry about those guys for a while, so let's go ahead and start working on what we're gonna be doing about this mage up here. Uh, let me go ahead and use Rescue on Lawrence, just to get him closer. Because that seems like it'd be a good move there. I stand from here and try to attack him with Eleven Sword. Yeah, it won't kill him. That much is certain. Lawrence, how's your ability with the lances? Not good enough. You're also not fast enough in order to be able to do lasting damage. You, on the other hand... Oh, the killer bow. If it crits, then that'd be grand. If it doesn't, well, we got healers. No crit. And it hit. And now it crit. Like I said, we have healers, so... Works out. At least I think we have a capable healer coming up here. I've got to pull it together. Yeah, you're not doing that great. Uh... About. Yeah, currently the only thing that they're targeting right now, this mage here, is targeting Ignatz, and he'll kill Ignatz. Ooh, there's two of them targeting Ignatz. Uh, Leone? Well, at the very least, he'll survive. Uh. Go with. Go with a javelin. You'll take out the mage, but the but the the archer will survive. Uh, dance. Thanks so much. Actually, that could work out pretty well. How many more units are up there? I'm all right. Just those two. Well, this might not be a good idea if I don't actually end up healing him. Yeah, he'll live, and he won't. Did I? Aha! I did give him healing! Thank you. Nice! Well done, me! Oh, I wish. Oh, I didn't think that through. Steady I could have given him strength, and that way it would have made the attack here a little bit better. Killer bow! Let's, uh. Let's give it a shot! Didn't credit on the first one! Whoa! Missed, and didn't crit on the second one. Well, that guy's definitely gonna die next turn, that's for sure. Missed, and dead. With a crit? No, ma no, no less, no matter, no mad. Okay. Now here's where the battle on the right side becomes a little bit, yeah. <gasps> He's not going for him! Yep, that was a touch rough. But, not impossible. Let's go ahead. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, like, Cynthia doesn't have a gambit, it would seem. She also doesn't have... Oh wait, if you do... No, if you have an adjutant, you can still have a battalion. Uh... Alright. First off, we need to get Hilda back into the action. Uh, Cloud. So 
Let's see. I'm trying to think of the best way to go about this. Ah! If I go up here and have him break that. Okay, I got my plan. Right up here. Uh, let's go ahead and heal you up. Thank you. Heal you all brought good. Back off a little bit. Bernadetta. Uh, no, I was going to... Yeah, okay, this will still work. Come over here. Come up to him. Gambit. Uh, right there. Hopefully this will work the way I planned on it. It should shatter the broken portion of his armor and, uh, and weaken the back part. Yep, exactly as I planned. Got the prof coming over here. Take care of the rest of that. It's time. And we should get something good for this. Golem's armor broke. We got Mithril for it. Ooh. That's real good. All right, you you bolting guy need to need to die like right now. Uh, yeah, I'll probably take it out. We're all desperate, aren't we? Ya -da -da -da. I'm that much closer to my goal. You know, it, you ever like see those things where it's like, oh, this character talks about like his goal all the time, but like with Claude, it never gets annoying. Some characters it can get pretty annoying, but with Claude, that's not the case. Yeah. All right, we'll dizify him for one turn. Uh, could be better. Sierra leveled up. Huh, that's really weird how when I highlight over any enemy, it lights up their, uh, their, those guys' shields. Anyway, onto this side. We still got, like, a, quite a few units to take, take down over there. Who needs the ex- well, Flane, no matter what, Flane's always gonna need experience. That's just, I've accepted that at this point. Thanks so much. Let's rally you. One, two, three, four, we'll just move you up a little bit. Wait. Move you up and wait. Move Flane up and fortify. Might as well heal everybody who needs it. You up here, uh, dance. Flane. Let's use a little bit of uh. Let's see, wind, cutting gale, fire, Nosferatu, eh, wind. If I can get the crit, that'd be great, but... She's gonna take a touch of damage, but... A little bit of damage here or there, but nothing too big. Enemy phase, let's see what's coming next. Up. I should prepare to strike at that guy. Problem is, it doesn't show me how much damage he'd be taking until I get there. Attack of 41. I don't, is it a strength based? It's okay, it's a magic uh, based weapon. Reinforced magic lance. Which means that Flane would take like no damage from it. Right? Well, uh, we still got that guy to take down. We can take down this guy right now. Kinda wanna take this guy down as soon as possible. Uh, what are we, what are we looking at on some of our attacks here? Aura? Aura would not be enough, and silence, I don't think would do anything to him. Not really sure why it was even there, but... Bernie, why don't you take down this white mage? 
Yeah, that's well within your realm of expertise here. Yeah. Taking down opponents you can outrange. Uh, pretty good, huh? Pretty good, yeah. Hmm. I might. Huh. I actually have an idea that's probably gonna work. Let's get Ignatz back here first. Wait. All right, I'll start with this side since I have a plan. Ooh, will that work though? Is that... That is movable territory, okay. Get you over here, Gambit. I've got another Hopefully it hits, I've never seen a... I've never actually witnessed one of my own Gambit's miss. I've seen enemy Gambit's miss, but not one of my own. Get you up here. Gambit. Gambit boost! Create a disturbance! Okay. He's got two in the back now. So... I'll bring you over here. Hold up. He... is within range. Excellent. Uh, go ahead and dance for Raphael. Level up! Level up in the process. Feels like fighting is all there is. You to come over here. Gambit. What can I do? Get that gambit boost okay. up and charge. I didn't realize that Lysithia didn't have a battalion. I also don't really know for how long she's been like that. Sagittae, okay. Attack, wind. All right, let's start off with wind. I need a crit, but I like the spirit. Flame levels up, good. They say experience feeds growth. They do say that, don't they? Sadith leveled up. I can feel it in my bones. So now you get that back and gain Sword Breaker. Sorry, Marianne, your, your new sword's not gonna be useful here. And we can attack with Sagitty. Once, twice. Break him down now. Yeah, po like a poison hit or something? Did something I have get reflected back at me? I don't know why... Why did you take damage? No, wait. Oh, he took extra damage. Okay, yeah, that that's the poison strike. Okay. I saw the plus six and I wasn't sure where it was. It'll uh, come down here and start attracting this archer. Might as well mount up, it'll give you a bit of an advantage there. Uh, Professor? Why don't we go ahead, Sublime Heaven. 58 damage. It'd be enough to take him down, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and hold off on that and use Bulganone. Should work, should work. Ow. Maybe one more golem left to uh left to take out. I really should. Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna kill him with. Well, wait. Can I kill him with attack? Aura. Aura would not kill. Whatever Lysithia has would probably kill. Those for two times two. Yeah, pretty sure that would kill. Seraphim times two. Let's go with Seraphim. Well, actually, hold on. Let's back the hell up and then use Seraphim. There we go, because with uh, with Thursis we outrange him. Man, I'm just... I'm, I'm kind of, like, thinking here that if I gave Thursis to Lawrence, he'd be, like, an unstoppable force. One to be reckoned with, no doubt. Assist, heal. Welcome. Bring you back up to snuff. 
Uh, and we'll just wait for now. Let's see what the enemy does. We st oh man, we still have one golem left. I didn't even realize. It's coming back! Who wants experience? For free, mind you. Oh, this will actually be a bit of a bother. Attack. Silver punchies. You can take him down easily. Anybody still 32? No. Flane is our lowest level right now, so... Attack, Levin Sword. That would kill him. Not what I was expecting. I'll go with this. Ooh, a miss. And a crit. I was not expecting Dorothea to win that fight, but, you know, we made it work. In our own way. Kingdom Youths have leveled up. So steadfast. Uh, can I just punch these you to death? Mm, close, but I can't quite get there. Uh, I might as well start moving up towards these guys. We're getting pretty close to the end of this battle. Uh, let's see. I probably should consider having some of these guys work against, uh... You know, they can take out the- take down these guys. I also could try attracting this guy. Yep, that would work. Uh, items. Keep the javelin equipped for now. Let me see how much damage you'd be taking there. 31. That's a hefty chunk, but I, I have the utmost faith that you'd be able to come through with flying colors. Rally, strength, I think that lasts, so we'll have to see where that ends up taking us. Hmm? Are there any chests down here I didn't get? No. A lot of crest stones, but no chests we didn't get. Lawrence. I'm gonna have to be careful with how I uh with how I organize my or orient my troops here. Uh, Lysithia, Marianne, can you not? Bernadetta. He's gotta have a long range counter, right? He doesn't? Wow. Start moving Bernadetta back up this way. Yeah. Uh, I can show you the world. But I can also attack with Nosferatu. Yeah, I'll take out this guy with her. Ow, 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 ow. Marianne leveled up! I'm really gaining confidence. Gaining more of that magic. Spirit does. They may be phantoms, but they can still be harmed. Let's take out the other commanders. Good strategy, Claude. I wish I thought of it myself. Uh there's one more mage up there. Mage up. Catch up. Uh I'll let Hilda have this one. Oh, the iron axe. It's like irony, but with an axe. Get used to this. I'll keep moving up. To the east side in the deluxe apartment in the sky. You know how it go. Is there? Oh, wind magic, I assume? Yes. Wait. Teach. We'll move up here. Items, uh, fight it with thunder. And wait. Let's see if they can come up here and wait. And it's the enemy's turn. Let's see what they do. Let's see what you've got. Did he die? Nope. Oh, what? That was not his predicted path. Oh, and he's prepping something awful. I just know it. That was that was not part of the plan. Okay. Uh, between okay. A plan can still come together through this, though. No. 
Yes, indeedy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I gained one more from doing that, so... Uh, yeah, we can, we can make this work. You move up there. And I gotta turn back time. <laughs> I screwed something up. Shall we? I wanted you to mount up, then wait, More then have Dorothea come over here, then dance. <laughs> then have, let's see. This should work, this angle should work fine. Yep, Gambit Boost! Seize the moment, seize the, moment, seize the day. Whew. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We can make, we can make this work. We'll force it to work! I must pull through. Even if it stands, no chance. Uh, yeah, this should. This will definitely kill him in one hit. So I don't gotta I worry about that. Well. Hey, can you not level up? It's out of Eloise. There is still room for improvement. Growing stronger suits me. Those giant monsters can still move, but they seem much weaker now. We should be able to finish them. Uh, did they did they weaken in the past like five seconds? Cause I I personally I didn't notice. Shall we? We shall. Oh, we shall. I am here. Yeah, but boost! Oh, I got it. Smack, 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 smack. Smack, 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 smack. Smack, 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 Gambit! Was that a 53 on the Gambit? I should have waited. Did that not break, that killed him. Did that not break a shield? Ah, it didn't break a shield. Okay. Hold on. Something went horribly wrong here. I'll do my best. Uh. Uh. <laughs> my orders. Um. Uh, we have this covered. Onslaught. Turn the tables. Whew. Okay, I think I did it. There we go. His armor's broken. We got Mithril for it. Oh, move again. Right. I keep forgetting about that. Let's make this quick. Uh, attack. Seraphim. Take him out, because he's technically a monster. 201 for crit. You're on your last hurrah. I do this for all of us. I wonder if I can get him with her. No, not quite. I guess we could share in the experience a bit here. Oh, that's not close enough. There's Feratu. Yeah, that'll work. And, uh, every Bernie gets her day, right? So, let's give Bernie hers. Yes, yeah, I've got to. You get it. Still here. Nice. Maybe this will help me keep steady. You're really tough. Maybe. Steady now. Combat arts, curve shot, killer bow. How much damage can I do? No crits, that's for sure. Now we're getting to the point where I can start, like, beating people be. up. Enemy phase. Nothing left. Let's start off with a deafening silence. It worked, okay. Move again. 
always forget about that. Attack. Crescent Sickle. Brave Lance. Brave Lance will kill. Javelin, that won't even come close. Steel Bow, that'll kill. Crescent Sickle it is. Skill level up. Authorities now see. Italian Desperation. there and wait. Lawrence, why don't you finish him off with a bit of fire? Nice. Good, but not enough. Oh, come on. You're the man now, dog. Uh, you probably have a lot of resistance, but it's not going to stop me from trying. Oh, yes it is. Come over here. Attack with the killer bow. If he kills him, then yay. If he doesn't, then I'll just end up using... Okay, he didn't. Plan was to use Dorothea for that anyway. Attack, Levin Sword. That'll be enough to kill. Nice. All this power just to survive. And finally, Flane. Uh, when the winds aren't enough. Hmm. Attack with the tomahawk. Yes, that won't kill. And. With that, this mission is complete. Now, what was the gift that Rhea left us? Gimme. I feel my strength building. Looks like we made it through the madhouse. So where's this treasure that Rhea mentioned? We finally found it. This must be the treasure? Uh, let's get out of here and take a look. Stage complete, Eternal Guardian. Be a burning dead was the MVP. Not bad. Renown increased. So that's always good. All right. What was this treasure? Thank you so much. Oh, good grief. Rhea's trap was more extensive than I expected. Could something like that really be a result of sorcery alone? I don't understand the structure at all. It certainly wasn't made quickly. Uh... Was it there from the beginning? I think so. That trap may have been built into the holy tomb when it was first constructed. In which case, there might have been another purpose for building it, other than just as a saint's tomb. Now I have even more questions for Rhea. I hope we reunite with her soon. However, we now have a salvaged treasure. It might be something incredible. The church kept some of the legendary weapons that were blessed by the goddess. This isn't something one just stumbles across. Anyway, it was entrusted to you, Teach. Do what you will with it. My curiosity has been satisfied for the time being, so maybe I'll return to my responsibilities. We got the Saros Shield. I'll have to take a good look at that. Alright, let's take a look at that shield real quick. Uh... Oh, I, I have it in my possession. Sacred shield linked with the Crest of Saros. Halves monster damage, restores HP each turn. Interesting. Its weight is only 3 and it has a protection rate of 5, so that's a really good shield. Go ahead and store that for now. <sighs> I know this episode's been going on long, but I'm gonna do this battle real quick. We'll skip right through it, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll, uh, yeah. <sighs> we'll skip right through it, and then we'll end off the episode. Battle at the Border, Verdant Wind, Chapter 16, The Rose-Colored River. All right, let's see what we're working with here. We are... Okay, this isn't terrible. We do have one giant beastie off in the corner, though. Right over here. What are we working with? Huh. King of Beasts. 
I was actually uh, expecting one of the flying ones, considering the area here. Grants us with a rusted lance if we beat it. Interesting. Uh, a lot of axes and punchy guys here. One, one riding unit there. All right, this shouldn't be too bad. I'll get through it quickly, and then, uh, then we'll end up the episode. I'm gonna be basically using these units here, so let me just show you what we got so far. Just real quick, scrolling through them. Exactly as we left them in the last, uh, in the last battle. Uh, with some of them changed because of how everything's kind of lined up here. I think I'll remove Can You Not in exchange for Raphael? Yeah. And then, uh... Let's see... Raphael could have Lysithia as an adjutant. Alright. So yeah! I'll, uh, I'll jump in whenever, uh, if my units unlock new abilities, but for now, we're just gonna be doing this battle. Lysithia's, uh, mag- or er, reasoning ability leveled up- or, sorry, faith ability leveled up, but she got faith level 5. She also mastered the skills for Grimori, and got defiant magic. Victory. Something Claude's authority is now, uh, level C+, plus, I think I saw? He gained model leader and, uh, authority level, uh, level up. Hilda's armor skill is now A+, plus, and she gained the ability weight, mi uh, weight minus five. I think she already had that one already, though. Did it again. All right, and since we're pretty much at the end of our, uh, of our battle here, here's what our stats are looking like so far. For each one of our units here. As usual, I can't really show off much of the adjutants, so you're just gonna kinda have to, like, see those later. I didn't, there was a lot more to this than I thought there was. All right, and with that, I'm gonna have uh, our boy Ignatz here finish things off with his Wodao. Ten percent chance to hit him. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, if he had hit there, then that would have been very impressive. Nine damage to finish him off. Getting Ignatz up to those sweet levels there. I believe I can do more. My units have been having really good level ups. Amazing. Amazing. We received 12,600 gold. Damn. I have any bullions, just a lot of gold. Our MVP was, uh, Marianne. Oh, it's four in the morning. It is very four in the morning. All right, and assuming I can get through the next two weeks fairly quickly, next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses, we're gonna be taking the Bridge of Murden. Uh, from the Gloucester, uh, from the, uh, House Gloucester. And hopefully getting, uh, you know, the, the, uh, yeah, the Gloucester family, House Gloucester to join up with us in our fighting at the Empire. So I'll see you all next time. Later!